Welcome to the Greenway with Mac, a channel dedicated to active transportation. Today I am in one of the world's great cities, Valencia, Spain. And I'm starting from its high-speed rail station called Valencia Joaquin Soroya, located just south of the city center. The purpose of this video is to show you the route from this train station to Valencia's world-class market called Mercat Central. The journey starts on the north side of the station next to the taxis, so follow the signs to the taxis if you are recreating this route upon arriving in the city. The central market is located right in the center of the old city, so even if you aren't planning this exact route, the connection is a useful one that can show you how to get to the Valencia Nord train station, the historic towers, its main plaza, or nearly anywhere else in the old city. This journey is a short one, about a mile and a quarter, and most of it is in protected bike lanes or in car-free plazas. Due to several factors, such as its strong bike network and the quantity of people on wheels, Valencia is a very safe city for cycling, and I felt comfortable riding on routes like this one regularly. Novice riders may lack the confidence to ride in a city like Valencia, but I hope this video can help you to find that confidence. There is one short section for several blocks that are in the street with vehicles, but I will point out an off-street option to use as an alternative. If you are not ready to do this on bike, then this distance is short enough to walk, something you will likely do a lot of in Valencia. Valencia has an incredible network of protected and off-street bike lanes. There are over 100 miles of protected bike lanes and numerous organizations have awarded it as the best city in Spain for bike transportation. It was so good in fact that we lived here for a year and did not need a car. This section that we are on was incomplete until the middle of 2022 when they plugged a critical gap in the network. The monument on the right is El Cid, a Spanish folk hero who fought for both Christian and Muslim armies in the 11th century. We are continuing on Carrer de Saint Vincent, but first we need to cross Gran Via de Ramon y Cajal, and then cross the street to rejoin the bike lane on the left side. This intersection is also Plaza de España, which has a metro stop that serves lines 1 and 2. This street is one of the many shopping districts around the city. We came down here a few times to pick up Legos and birthday presents for classmates because there are two toy stores within a couple blocks on our left. At Chativa, we have a decision to make. There are actually a lot of different ways to get to the market from here. You can go straight and ride in the street with cars for about six blocks, but it's messy to cross this intersection. A second option is to go left. Chateve becomes Carrer de Guillem de Castro, and you'll eventually turn right on Carrer de Guillem Soroya. This route is just as good as ours and uses protected bike lanes, but it skips a few of the interesting landmarks. We are going right on Chateva, which will take us past Valencia Nord train station and behind it, the bull ring. There are three Metro Valencia stops surrounding Nord station. Inside Nord Station are the Cercanias trains, which are the trains that connect to most cities less than 100 miles away, the major ones being Gandia, Castelló, Chativa, and Utiel. Medium distance trains also use Nord Station, and you can catch a train up to Barcelona or down to Sevilla and Cadiz. Spain has the second longest high-speed rail network in the world, so this is a fantastic way to move around the country. Unfortunately, bikes are not permitted on a lot of trains, so you need to look up your specific route if you are bringing your own bike. You could cross here and ride off the street and on the sidewalk up to the plaza, which we did for several months and is the best route for walking. The Nord Station is to our right and the round building is the Bullring with the Chateva Metro Valencia station between them. Carefully turn across the bike lane and wait for the bike signal. 
Once it is green, you'll cross and then take the lane for just a couple of blocks. Buses and taxis normally use the right lane, so use the one on the left, being sure to stay visible to them. This is Plaza de Ayuntamiento, which is one of the main, if not the main, plaza in Valencia. Several years ago, this plaza was cluttered with cars, but just like Plaza de la Virgen and Plaza de la Reina, most of the traffic has been removed and most of the space puts people first. Now it is a vibrant public plaza that is surrounded by shops and restaurants, and as you would expect, is one of the main tourist areas. There are plans to change the plaza with more seating, shade, and art, similar to the recently completed Plaza de la Reina. During Fayas, this is where the Mascaleta takes place. At the end of the plaza, there is a bike-specific area to merge up here on the left. Once it is clear of cars, enter the lane and keep heading north. Cars are on the same level as bikes and pedestrians in this section, which is a design element meant to slow traffic. Without clear delineation, drivers are treated as guests in the space and it is a proven strategy to lower speeds. Nearby are the Silk Exchange and Plaza Redona, which are worth seeing. But one of my favorite things to do was wander the streets, follow the sights and smells, and see where they took me. There is a pulse, and it is exciting to be a part of it. The Central Market in Valencia is a must-see for visitors. There are hundreds of vendors inside that sell all kinds of fresh fruits, vegetables, seafood, cheeses, meat, and other local items. We lived down the street and loved coming here for homemade vermouth and fresh slices of jamón. If you're getting value from my videos, please hit the like button. And subscribe if you don't want to miss the next great bike route. I'll see you on the next Greenway.